So the big question is, why do you think you're not good enough to be a presenter? Why do you think you're not good enough to be a YouTuber? Why do you think you're not good enough to be a leader? Why do you think you're not good enough to be anything you want to be? Why do you think you're not good enough to follow your dreams? Why do you think you're undeserving of love? So today, I'll be opening your eyes to the truth. I grew up in a place where they told you what to chase, told you how to run the race, every move was on the page. Hello fam love, welcome back again. My name is Divney and if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome to the family. So my channel is all about lifestyle, therapeutic motivations and social media entertainment. The truth is, not only am I here to share my opinions and my experience with anyone who cares to listen, I'm also intrigued to hear from anyone who might have gone through similar experiences as well. So with that being said, let's go straight to why we are here today. Why do you think you're not good enough? There's a very big question mark attached to this question. So I'm going to start by telling you a real life story that I think might help you in one way or two. There's this friend of mine that has always wanted to be a YouTuber. I could sense the excitement, the enthusiasm whenever he talks about it. So he just kept talking and practically did nothing about it. So one day I got tired, I got fed up and I told him, yo, you've been talking about being a YouTuber for a long time. What's the plan? Why don't you want to start now? What are you waiting for? And you would not believe what he said to me. I wouldn't have guessed that in a million years and that is why i am making this video because i know there are many of us out there that are eager to start up a youtube channel well i'm just going to kill the suspense and tell you what he said he said and i quote i don't think i'm good enough to start up a youtube channel and i was shocked to my bone marrows because this was someone I was looking up to. I mean, this friend of mine is fluent in English language. He's handsome. He's cute. And to be honest, I had a crush on him at the very beginning. You know, when we first met and everything. Although now we are very good friends. If someone like you can doubt yourself, how much more me? But no, I can't doubt myself because, you know, I know what I'm made of. If I don't know myself, I'm telling you, my, my, my self-esteem would have just dropped to 0%. So I decided to do my research on this subject matter. Because I couldn't understand why anyone would think they are not good enough. The truth is, you're more than good. Good is an understatement. You are the best. You are perfect in your imperfections. So the big question is, why do you think you're not good enough to be a presenter? Why do you think you're not good enough to be a YouTuber? Why do you think you're not good enough to be a leader? Why do you think you're not good enough to be anything you want to be? Why do you think you're not good enough to follow your dreams? Why do you think you're undeserving of love? So today, I'll be opening your eyes to the truth. The truth is, good is an understatement. You're the best. You're actually the best version of you. Nobody, and I repeat, nobody can do what you do best. Well, I'm going to follow it up by telling you why you think you're not good enough. And I hope this will help you wake up from your truth. So the number one thing we'll be talking about is self hate you cannot give what you don't have we don't have to sugarcoat it i'm going to be as blunt as possible i mean i'll be brutally honest with you all you cannot give what you don't have if you have self-hate you can only dish out hate to others and in return the hatred will be reciprocated back to you and that is how the universe works that is karma there's nothing I can do about it. There's nothing anyone can there's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing anyone can do about it. Law of karma. You hate yourself, you dish out hate. You get hate in return. It's as simple as one, two, three, and ABC. You think you're damaged goods. You think you're incapable of doing something great. That is self-hatred. And that can be disastrous. You know? Let's take for instance. I have a pot of beans and then you come ask me for a bowl of rice. Do you expect me to change my pot of beans to a bowl? Uh, sorry, I'm not Jesus Christ that turned water to wine. I, I can't even, I'm, I'm not, I can't do that. I don't have magic. I can't turn my pot of beans to a bowl of rice. So, excuse me, I don't have a bowl of rice. What I have here is a pot of beans. So you cannot give what you don't have. 
and it's so important that you understand this and the second thing i'll be talking about that contributes to this negative thought is we tend to compare ourselves to others ah we compare ourselves to to people forgetting that we came to this world alone and we are living alone everybody has different thumbprints we can never be the same you're the best version of you and nobody can take that away from you fun facts those you're comparing yourselves to are also comparing themselves to others a blind man can never lead a blind so comparing yourself to others is a contributing factor to this negative thought so the third thing we'll be talking about is as important as eating food and drinking water and it is so rampant who are your friends surrounding yourself with toxic people is as disastrous and as deadly as cancer i call them cancerous friends p.s i'm not talking about astrology astrolo astrology or astronomy or oh, astrology i'm not talking about that you know Vigo, Gemini, leo libra cancer that's not the cancer i'm talking about i'm talking about the deadly cancer see you might love a friend so dearly be kind to them and crucify yourself on the cross even and they would still hate you for no reason and the trickiest thing about it is you might not be able to differentiate the real ones from the fake ones oh you think you're smart <laughs> so let me bust your bubbles these toxic friends are Oscar deserving cancerous friends. My dear, my only advice for you is pray and be smart. Toxic friends will surprise the be Jesus out of you. If you've never fallen after the toxic friend, I think it will be a bit difficult for you to notice any trace of toxicity exhibited by them. Speaking from experience, I don't wish toxic friends on my enemies. Well, I just had to name a few in order to save time. But these are the most important thing I would like us to take into consideration. Yes, moving on, let's talk about how we can suppress these negative feelings and believe that we are more than enough. I would like you to know that we all have challenges in life, hoping to see a bright light at the end of the tunnel. You're beautifully and wonderfully made. And if you think I'm joking about this, try creating a strand of hair on your hair. And let's see how that goes. Do not bury yourself in the past. Forget about perfections and think about progress. This is your present. What are your plans? It is okay to redirect your purpose. It is okay to change perception. It is okay to have opinions. The only thing I'm not going to agree with is quitting. It is not okay to quit. Learn to forgive yourself. Stop comparing yourself to others because nobody can play you better than you you are the best you're good enough you should learn to do away with negativities and invite positivity into your life and most importantly you should learn to love yourself self-love is so important and it has lots of benefits attached to it self-love can help you heal it will bring you peace it will take you places it will help drain toxic friends from your life and so much more but i just wanted to name a few so you can understand what you've been missing if you don't practice self-love today so in my next video we will be discussing in details the benefit of self-love yes it's going to be an interesting one well with that being said we have come to the end of the video i want to say a massive thank you for watching my video thanks for being a part of this family and thanks for your support if you have any question whatsoever please do let me know in the comment section if you have any suggestions please let me know in the comment section and last but not the least please turn on your notification button to get more updates from me thank you bye and bon voyage